Zeke Elliott to the Eagles? How could that happen? How could that happen? I mean, the city of Philly only has so many donuts to go around. Believe me, I know. King Ding back here, and everybody wants to come play for the Eagles. Everybody, including them satanic star wearing Dallas Cowboy players who, first chance they get, love to come to Philly. They want to be in Philly. But can the Eagles afford this? Can the Eagles allow Zeke Elliott to come play for the Eagles? This would mess up my plans. This would mess up my dreams. I'm not so sure about this one. I don't know about you guys, but is there enough donuts to go around? In Philly, have Zeke Elliott there playing for the Eagles? Can you imagine him at Midnight Green? Now, we're going to talk about it in a second because I think I have an out. I think I have an out. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content. You are looking not only at a guy that looks like Denzel Washington, but you are looking at the most censored, most throttled, Paul's. Eagles content creator in all of the internet and if you've been subscribed for a while I want to thank you guys thank you for being OGs to this channel you are made men and women you are you're a part of the family now and there's no getting out of Dingbat Nation so thank you guys for your support it truly means a lot to me now we got to talk about this all right so Zeke Elliott I don't even know where to begin. I, I, I where to begin. Zeke Elliott, it, 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 it doesn't even want to come out of my mouth. I can't even bring it up. Zeke Elliott wants to play for the Eagles. But, oh, that hurts. I, I, I'm, having, I'm having flashbacks, bad flashbacks. You know what I mean? So uh, I remember DeMarco Murray. That, that, was, a real, that was a real winning uh, thing. Go from Shady McCoy. To, to DeMarco Murray. What a joke that was. Well, Adam Schefter said this. Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott has narrowed down his options about where do they want to play to the, e for, to the Eagles. Wait, what? Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott has narrowed down his options about where to play. The Eagles, Jets, and Bengals, and he would like to make his decision about where to sign by the end of the next week, per sources. So Zeke Elliott, according to Adam Schefter, is wanting to play for the Eagles, Jets, or Bengals. Here, here's, here's my initial thoughts. I, I am not interested in Zeke Elliott coming to the Eagles at all. I, 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 and, and, you know, joking aside, all those kind of things, I, I think Zeke is, is shot. I think his best days are behind him. I don't think for him to come here, he it means he would split carries with Penny. And to me... Um, it, it, it wouldn't go good. What did he average? Like under four yards of carry last year. I think Zeke is, is, is not the same. He would be better off going back to Dallas, playing behind Pollard in a, in a backup type role. But, you know, the one good thing I'm going to take out of this uh, mess, the fact that this, if this is true or not, and we'll discuss that in a second too. But the one thing I can take out of this, and this is how I, 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 this is how my mind works, okay? The fact that the Eagles would want to take Ezekiel Elliott, a bigger back, um, tells me when you combine the fact that they could be interested in him with the fact that they have Trey Sermon and then you have Rashad Penny now, the Eagles are obviously looking for bigger backs, right? Maybe that has to do with the fact that everybody's trying to ban the Eagles quarterback sneak because they can't stop it. Um, the Eagles are going to need a bigger, more physical back. But it just seems like under Nick Sirianni, um, he, they want a bigger type back than they've had in the past that we're used to. And the fact that Zeke Elliott would be looking at the Eagles or the Eagles would be have an offer on the table for him or something like that. Uh, because the way Adam Schefter makes this sound, it sounds like he wants to make his choice between three teams, meaning their offers on the contracts from these three teams, and they're all waiting on him to decide. That's what the tweet sounds like. Okay? Um, but... I, if I'm the Eagles, I don't want no part of it. Why? I want no part. Why? Why? 
why would I go out and bring Zeke in? How much is Zeke going to cost me? What am I, he's going to cost me $5 million, $6 million, something like that. I mean, it, it can't be super, super cheap. But you bring Zeke Elliott in, um, why not just go out and get Bashan Robinson? Go get Bajan Robinson, get the young kid, get him under a rookie contract, and, and let's go for the next four or five years. Bring in Zeke Elliott for one year, because that's what it would be. It would be one year. Him and Penny would be one year. Why do I say that? Because if Penny has a great year, he's gone. He's going to go make more money somewhere. Eagles aren't going to pay running back. And Zeke, you know, I mean, how much does he have left? And, I, and I'm not trying to be mean to Zeke. And I'm not trying to, to, to you know, a, a little bit trolling because it's Cowboys. But I just don't, I don't think he's the same back. I don't think he's worth us bringing in. Uh, and he plays for the Cowboys. We've had bad luck, very bad luck. Remember DeMarco Murray? Um, bad luck bringing in Cowboys running backs. I just stay away from this thing completely, 100%. And to me, it, it would be shocking that the Eagles even would consider this. Why would you even consider this? Um, you know, it, it, it's been hard for me over the last several hours to actually believe that the Eagles would do this. And and I was feeling like, oh, man, what what are we doing? If you're going to go out and get a back like Zeke Elliott, just go get Bajan Robinson. Let's, let's, let's do it right. Let's do it right. And then I saw this, right? Because I was a little down about that. I was a little frustrated, confused. But then I saw this. And when I saw this, I felt like an out, it was an out. I felt better. I started to understand. I started to feel good. And now I'm here to tell you, Eagle fans, it's going to be okay. The Eagles are not on the verge of getting Zeke Elliott, and that's a good thing. John Clark says this, I am told as of right now, the Eagles have not engaged in conversations with Ezekiel Elliott about joining the team and are happy with the running backs they have right now. It seems the Eagles, Bengals, Jets are a wish list for Ezekiel Elliott, and where he would like to play. Now, deep breath. Feel better. Get that air in. Let it out. Donuts are all safe in Philly. Zeke Elliott is not on the verge of signing with the Eagles. They haven't engaged in conversations, according to John Clark. He wants to play for the Eagles. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. Of course he would want to play for the Eagles. You get to play your, your, your old team twice a year, and you're playing with the greatest franchise. Oh, no, by the way, and people may not think this, but the fact that Kelly Green's coming back this year, you know a lot of players around the league want that. They want to wear that jersey because it's the most beautiful, gorgeous jersey that there ever was. That there ever was. But the fact that Zeke wants to come to Philly, I mean, plus look at the offensive line the Eagles have. The best offensive line football. Of course Zeke wants to come there. Of course he does. So to me, I feel better now because it, it doesn't look like this is like something on the verge or the offers on the table. It sounds like Zeke would like to come to Philly as one of the three places. I don't think the Eagles will do it. Now, when I when he says the Eagles are happy with the running backs they have, I think they are happy with they, what they have. The Eagles are definitely happy with the running backs they have because they know they're getting Bajan Robinson in the draft. Draft number five, baby. Draft number five. You know, that's what I say. But uh, I, I, I honestly, like, I just think Zeke is a good way for your team to get old fast. You got a great offense. Right now you have a great offense you got a great offensive line you've got great wide receivers a great tight end you've got a running back who has tremendous upside if he can just stay healthy why on earth would you bring Zeke Elliott in to make everything slow and everything old do not do it I would not do it and and I'm not saying Zeke can't play somewhere he can there's other teams that would be a better fit but I think for what the Eagles are doing and what they have on offense the Eagles have they have the opportunity. The Eagles have the opportunity right now that if they play their cards right and they land a good running back in the draft, maybe get themselves another wide receiver number three, but they have a chance that if they can improve on the offense that they had last year, they can take that offense to new levels. They can take it to where, you know, we may see historic numbers and things like that be put up because the Eagles have the best offensive line, one of the best tight ends, best wide receiver, one of the best wide receiver duos in the league, and the best, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, best in the NFC. So the Eagles, with the right tweaks, like a rookie running back like a John Robinson or, uh, you know, getting a wide receiver three, somebody that can play, um, 
the Eagles can, can offense can go to a whole nother level, a whole nother level. And any loss on defense will be mitigated by that offense. So to me, why would you waste your money, your time, your efforts with Ezekiel Elliott? I don't think he has anything left. I really don't. I mean, on the right team, maybe limited snaps, he'll be fine. But for the Eagles, what are we going to do? Pay him four or five million dollars to come in and be a short yardage back, be, be a short goal line back. I don't want that. Stay away from him. Go get the young kid. Go get go get go get the young kid and pair him up with Jalen Hurts through 2026. He'll be making like four million dollars a year. Okay? I mean, dude, let's 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 do it right. Let's do it large. No need for an old old ex Dallas Cowboy who who ain't got nothing left as far as I'm concerned. He was a great running back in his day, but the Cowboys they used the crap out of him. They wore him out. And and to me, uh, I, I would not bring Zeke Elliott in. The only way he would come in is if he was my third back. I would have to have Bajan Robinson and then Penny. And then if you wanted to bring Ezekiel Elliott in as my fourth back behind Gainwell, okay, we would think about it. But then I would need to figure out what am I going to do at my kick return punt returners because he definitely ain't doing that. So it sounded like panic mode early on. It ended up to be, I think, going to be okay. I don't see this happening. It doesn't sound like it, it's close. It sounds like it's just a wish list for Zeke Elliott. But boy, that was a that was an awfully early April Fool's joke for me, man. I wasn't going to be able to take that. I, I would not be happy having Zeke Elliott in. Um, and of course, that means because I don't want it, they'll probably do it. And then I'll have to be like, oh, okay, I hope he does good. But I, I don't want it. I I don't think it's the right thing for the Eagles. Not just because he's an ex-Cowboy. Just because of where he is in his career and where the rest of your offense is. We got young guys. We got young guys at skill positions. No need to be going and getting old right now. Let's get younger. Let's upgrade that running back position in the draft. And we'll be good to go. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. And remember, it is how we vision. We're all just living in it. Boy, I tell you what, when, when that Zeke Elliott stuff came out, man, oh, oh, my heart, my heart started fluttering and started going, no, no, no. I was having DeMarco Murray flashbacks, right? You lose Shady McCoy, and then you get DeMarco Murray. Now you lose Miles Sanders, and you go to Zeke Elliott. I, that was going to be horrible. It was going to be horrible. I feel much better. I feel much better after John Clark t tweeted what he tweeted. I really did. Hey, John Clark, yo, if you're out there, you saved my day. You saved my day. Thank you. Thank you. Because we don't want Zeke. We don't want him. No, 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 no. Go have another donut. I'm about to. Denzel Washington out.